It's clear that there's been some distortion of established historical patterns. And we do have one clue. Which is? Before our monitoring posts were destroyed, we detected faint traces of a Time Lord's Archon energy embedded in the time distortion. A Time Lord's Archon? Have you identified the Time Lord to whom this Archon energy belongs? The Doctor. To judge by the clothes, the unexpected arrival, and the manner of your greeting, I can only conclude that I know exactly who you are. <laughs> I take it there's a police box somewhere in the vicinity? You feel like pounding in your heart? That tightness in the pit of your stomach? The blood rushing to your head? Do you know what that is? That's adventure, the thrill and the fear and the joy of stepping into the unknown. That's why we're all here and that's why we're alive! alive. No, Doctor. Please, don't argue. I'm not staying. I know this place is future. So do I. What? It's obvious, and horrible too. One day the people of this city will become the Cybermen. It's already happening. Yes. Yes, this is Mondas, Earth's long-lost twin planet, and I can't interfere with its future. If anyone changes the future of Mondas, it must be the people themselves. If we're discovered here, then the whole future of the galaxy will be unbalanced, and we'll be to blame. Zagreus sits inside your head. Zagreus lives among the dead. Zagreus at the end of days. Zagreus lies all other ways. Well, I just mean to say, huh? how's a girl supposed to feel when a rickety old blue box holds more attraction? These Daleks, despite their appearance, are very likely just as lethal as their pristine counterparts. You must understand that our work here is at a critical stage. An interruption for even a few days would be unacceptable. You're mad. Do you have any idea who it is you're threatening? I think I should pose the same question to you, Brower. Cromwell! Finished already, Doctor? You must be a good surgeon. They're going to hang him! What did you expect? We're not barbarians. Give him to me, Cromwell. He's mine. Hanging is very humane. You can't do this! Doctor, tell him! I have loved travelling with you and Perry, Doctor. Really, I have. I've stepped onto other worlds, seen wonders beyond the imagination. But all the time, I've been evading my true destiny. Who are you? I am the Doctor. The Doctor? And you are? Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte Smith. Delighted to meet you, Charlotte. You're human, I take it? What? Oh, yes. I was made, built to expect you. By the grace, I need your help, Doctor. What is this place? Tardis, I'm afraid you're, you're not really seeing us at the best. I had to come here to stabilize my condition. Your condition? You mean the lightning? Of course, I... a temporal storm broke through the defenses, infected us both with vitreous time. Vitreous time? Corrosive, it burns, inhibits my ability to regenerate. Oh, cobwebs, yes. Odd that. Odd? No smell of decay, no build-up of dust. So what's with all the cobwebs, then? Cleaners on strike? Whatever you do, Tegan, don't move. Stay perfectly still, look down slowly, and try not to scream. Don't worry. They can't harm you. I don't know what you're playing at, Doctor. But we saw oh, you... Oh, my God, Liv! There's thousands of them! Hello! You must be in charge. Supervoc, no less. Your activation command is in contravention of our master programming. I know, sorry about that, but we must. You have ten seconds to explain this illegality, or condign action will be taken. <laughs> the final slice. And I must say, Evelyn, that sponge is one of your greatest <laughs> triumphs. I can, just about. Yes, there they are. John, Paul, George and... Oh. What is it? Why are there only three of them? Because there are only three of them, Grandad. Only three Beatles. Who are the Beatles? That's who everyone's here to see, isn't it? Don't be daft. There's only one group going to get a crowd like this. The common men. I have orders to take you and the Doctor to a secure location immediately. What? What secure location? Ah, I'm 
afraid that's top secret, Miss Grant. It's all in the interest of national security. Now, if you and the Doctor would just accompany me I to... think you'll find that the Doctor's not about to accompany anyone anywhere, because when the Doctor's fiddling with his precious TARDIS, there's no power... What was it the Master promised each of you? Can you even remember? A oh, quiet Doctor. I'd tell them to tear out your tongue if I didn't intend to use it myself. Follow me. Oh yeah, Constance, was it? Wait a minute. You might have got the wrong idea. I know who you are, and I've no wish to make your acquaintance. Well, hang on. Am I missing something here? You are missing your morals. He was the first of our triad to be injured by your companion, Doctor. Mel, I'm shocked. I'm not especially proud of myself today. I never meant to hurt your dog. Twenty minutes remaining, leader. And if humanity doesn't surrender, you'll carry out your threat. Use your weapon across the world. Of course. I was revived by the Master, remember? The signal I detected was a summons, not a reactivation. Watch your mags. Ace! I used to be. What? Oh, doesn't matter. Good to see you. You too, Professor. Miss McShane! A rendezvous as requested. I'm trying to create a better future for this pathetic little planet. Why is that so terrible? You will assist our plan! Will we? And what exactly is that plan? It is not necessary to explain! It'll be a bit difficult for us to assist you if you don't. Who goes first? Primacy or recency? How about we go together? It's more democratic. Oh, last one in Jerotnik! Come on! I turn into a bull in a china shop, don't I? Don't worry, you grow out of it.